it's me Robin with Simple Food Simple Life. Thanks for joining me today. Guess what? Today we're going to do something fun, inexpensive, that's the key there, and delicious. We are going to make turkey jerky bacon. Okay, first thing we have to do to make the turkey jerky bacon is we have to pat it till it's almost, well, not dry, but as dry as we can get it because there's a lot of moisture in this. Now, it says here that there are 22, I think you can see that, 22, approximately 22 slices of bacon. But for efficiency's sake, and because of the, the size of my dehydrator, I am going to cut this in half. Okay? So the first thing we have to do is we have to open our package of turkey bacon. And I've got two layers of paper towel here on this sheet pan. And I'm just going to lay that out. You can see there's a lot of moisture. So, and we don't want the dehydrator to work any harder than it has to. So, I've got some other paper towel here. And I'm simply going to press it. Now, I'm not going to take the bacon apart yet. I mean, I'm not going to separate the slices. <laughs> that sounded weird. Take it apart. Hmm. So, just going to pat it dry as best I can. And I've got an extra piece of paper towel here. And then, I'm going to cut it in half. Now then, one more time on this side. Now there's a reason why I'm trying to keep it together because it's going to make it easier to cut in half. Because I'm all for easy, aren't you? I'm all for easy, easy, easy. Okay, now. So, Take this paper towel off of here. And I'm going to, I was going to use this knife, but I think I'm going to be better off to use scissors. Hang on. I'm going to find the middle and cut it in half. See how easy? It's pretty easy. Oh my gosh, so easy so far, right? And I think I'm going to give it another pity pat here. Now then, I'm going to take these apart. <clears throat> now, I wouldn't necessarily have to take these apart except for this step. I mean, I wouldn't have to take it apart before I put it on the... I could just take it down like that and put it and separate it at the dehydrator. But the reason I'm doing this is because I figured out that I like to have a little black pepper on my turkey jerky bacon because I'm a spicy girl and I like to have a little spice. So that's what I'm going to do. Wipe my hands off here, and I'm going to put the pepper on. Now, if you don't like spicy things, don't use it. 
If you like it, go ahead. And maybe even a little cayenne would be good. Or you could leave it plain, or you could just put on whatever spice you like. How about some garlic? How about that? That might be good. And how about some what? Italian seasoning? I don't know. Chili? Or you know what? Just leave it plain. Now, I don't recommend that you put, add any salt to this or anything with a salt base because it's uh, way salty enough because it's bacon, right? And also, if you have little kids, you may not want to spice it up too much. Although I have to say, when I was a little kid, oh boy, I loved anything spicy. Okay, so this is what we're doing. And keep in mind now, I'm not handling raw meat here. I am. This is fully cooked because it said so on the package. The package wouldn't lie to me, would it? <laughs> okay. Also, cracked black pepper would be probably very tasty of this, if that's what you like. All right, now. I've got it ready to put in the dehydrator, and just um, for your information, my dehydrator is in my basement on my craft table because, as you probably well know, I have a very small kitchen and very limited counter space, so I have to put my um, dehydrator downstairs. And also, some of the smells... Um, I, I do dehydrate vegetables and things like that. This is the first time actually in my dehydrator that I've done anything with meat. So if um, depending on what I'm dehydrating, I'm, I don't necessarily want all those smells coming up into my living room, etc. Because when you dehydrate, the smells can become quite strong. So, okay, downstairs we go and... Um, Hopefully my lighting will be fine. It won't be as good as up here, but we're going to do our best. Okay? All right. All right. Now, keep in mind, this is on my craft table. My craft table is not dirty. It's well used. <laughs> With crafty stuff. So, I hope there's enough lighting that you can see. Uh, this, is my, this is my dehydrator. And... This dehydrator is um, an Elite Gourmet. I got it from uh, Amazon, and this has a temperature control on it. Um, and also suggestions for whatever you're going to dehydrate. This is actually, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, I think five trays. It's got a lid. You can see there. Um, I like it because it's square, or rather oblong, but keep in mind, um, this is smaller than a lot of the dehydrators you'll see. I'm not recommending this or promoting it, it's just, I'm just giving you some information on it so you know. Um, and I liked it because it was compact, because um, I uh, live alone, and so my dehydrating is, I'm not dehydrating tons of stuff, right, because... It's just me. So, it works out pretty good, I think. So now I'm going to remove this. And my dehydrator recommends that you turn it on while you're loading it. But I'm not going to do that because it will make noise. And you may not be able to hear my beautiful voice. <laughs> okay. Alright. So... I'm just going to lay these on here, and it, there's no rhyme or reason to it. Now, it's recommended that if you're going to dehydrate meat, you should put it at its highest setting, which um, on this setting, it is, oh, I don't have my glasses, it's like 153, I think is what it says. So, grab a napkin here because my hands get, 
All right, now, and then I'm just going to keep loading this and stacking it. And um, now, here's what I discovered. That this jerky, turkey jerky bacon, only takes, it takes with what I have here and the size I have here. This took me a little less than three hours to dehydrate this this um, bacon. So now I have to tell you um, you're going to love this and if you've ever purchased jerky you know it's very pricey. It's costly. Um, and it I mean, really, it is. It's very costly. You get a very small amount for a lot of money. Now, I realize that the jerky is that you're buying is like a beef jerky or whatever, and of course that's going to be more expensive. But, you know what? This is, um, it's very tasty. It does the job. It's got a nice chew to it. And um, it is, um, very, very good. Now, about halfway through this process, I will come down here and I will, will take some paper towel or napkins and I will pat off the fat because some fat will accumulate. It says it's less fat, not no fat. So some fat will accumulate and that's okay. Um, we're just going to pat it off. We're going to take the time to pat it off. Now I'm going to turn this on. Can you hear me now? <laughs> and I'm going to put the lid on. And I'm going to set my timer, and I've got this turned all the way to the highest heat. Now, I'm going to set my timer to um, an hour and a half. I'm going to set it for 90 minutes. And then I'm going to um, come down here, and I'm going to pat off the fat, and I will do it on both sides of the the bacon and then we will run it for I'm going to set my timer for an hour and a half again and we will run it again but about an hour after that I will come down and check just to be sure okay alrighty alright now we'll come back when we get ready to pat <laughs> alright see you later okie doke it's time to <clears throat> Pat some of the fat off of the the jerky, the turkey jerky bacon. <laughs> so you can see it's pretty pliable, but it's not it's not quite there yet. Okay, all right. So. I'm just going to pat some of the fat. Now, sometimes the fat that comes up off of this may vary, but that's okay. It's just enough. Actually, there's not too much on this batch. So that's a good thing. And I'm going to put this, I think I'm going to put the timer on for another hour because I don't think this is going to take another hour and a half. <clears throat> but we will see. Hey, listen. If you like this, hit the like button. Okay? And if you want, you can subscribe to Simple Food, Simple Life. <clears throat> and make sure that you share this video because everybody needs to know this stuff. Somebody out there, one of your dear friends, may want to know how to make turkey jerky bacon. <laughs> or 
all your friends on Facebook. And speaking of which, there's always a link down below because Simple Food, Simple Life is on Facebook. And I also post, I post the videos on the Simple Food, Simple Life Facebook page. So, you can share it there if you like. I have to warn you, my house smells like bacon. But is that a bad thing? I don't know. I don't think it is. So what do you think? Put in the comments below what you think. Do you think this might be something you would like to do? Make some turkey jerky bacon. Now, I haven't experimented with this in the oven yet. But I do dehydrate um, herbs in the oven. And uh, I never know. Is it herbs or herbs? I say herbs. Um, I dehydrate herbs in the oven. But what I do is I turn the oven to the lowest temperature, which is 170. And then uh, I turn it off put the herbs on a tray and with some parchment paper and then I just slip them in and uh, with the oven off and then just leave them and they pretty much get dried out so they, they um, dehydrate perfectly fine so um, I haven't tried that with this yet but my oven does not go down to 153 otherwise I might try it in the oven but it doesn't go that low so Okay, we're going to turn it back on, and we are going to set the timer. This does not have a timer on it, but we're going to set the timer to um, for another hour, and we'll check it then and see where that gets us. Ooh, almost there. Okie doke. Now, this was in there about two and a half hours. Okay? And this is what it looks like. It's nice and flexible. There's that, that whiny boy, Michael the cat. <laughs> now, this is what I do. This is some jerky bacon that I made um, last time. I just stored it in a jar and stuck it up in my cupboard. So, here's the bacon. You can see it's nice and flexible. It's chewy. It's very chewy. Mm-hmm. It's chewy, it's tasty. It's really good. But you can store it in a container like this. You can put it in a um, mason jar. You can put it in a zip bag. You can vacuum seal it if you have a vacuum sealer. You can do that. Now, I'm not going to store this until it's completely cooled off. And then, I will store it. And it'll be ready to eat. And it makes a great, great um, dog treat as well. So there it is. I'm still chewing. Because <laughs> it's hurt. It's, um turkey jerky bacon. That's why I'm still chewing. So okay, you can make this. I hope you give it a try. Um, and if you don't have a dehydrator, I don't know, see if you can borrow one. Um, give it a try. And it makes great snacks. And honestly, I would not, if somebody gave me this tied up in a ribbon for Christmas, I'd be thrilled. So, think about that. You might want to make it for gifts. Okay? All right, listen. I love you. You know I do. If I can do this, you can do it. So, get in that kitchen and make some turkey jerky bacon. And it's fun to say. <laughs> All right. I love you. And as always, you just remember that little is much when God is in it. Okay? Oh, and don't forget, it costs $1.89. That's pretty good. All right, bye. Love ya. I'll talk to you later.
thank you for watching.